you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon Georgiana Kathy Kathy Mary Beth D Carmen Joyce Tamika Sherry Donna Cheryl Kathleen Lori Susan Tammy Deborah Brandy Lonnie Amanda Susan Karen and Crafting with a Purpose, Rhonda, Linda, Spirit Junkie, Diane, Carrie, Tina, Tracy, Cheryl, Michelle, April, Lori, Nita, Angela, Cami, Diane, Yessi, Jerry, Lynn, and Angela. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good afternoon. Hey everyone, I'm Melody Lane. Welcome to my channel. This is Alex from the Beard Adventures channel. Yeah. He's going to be helping me out a little bit. He's going to show you mm. how to deboss. This, yeah, that's more so. Wait, is it emboss or deboss? Emboss. Yeah, that's what I thought. I the maker deboss. can deboss, but this is embossing. Um, oh, give me the card so I can show them. We also hand me the tools up there. So today we're making this card. It opens up. Uh, I'm going to show you in design space if you want to make different colors. Jamie made a pink, purple one. Pink, purple. I don't know where we live. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm going to show you how to change the colors. I'm going to show you also how to write on the inside if that's something you want to do. And we are live on YouTube, on Twitch. And in my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. If you are on Facebook and chatting, over here on YouTube, we can see what you're saying, but we can't see who is saying. So if you put your name up there, that would help us all out, be able to talk to you. And if you're watching from the other places, it's much better if you come to YouTube so you can see all of the chat. And I just want to say good morning to anybody that's not in the East Coast, like in the U.S. Say, it is good afternoon. <laughs> But for most people, it's good morning. Yes. Um, so you can get this card, this file, um, by supporting my channel for only $2 at patreon.com slash Melody Lane. Also, did you guys see this? Also, I want to remind you, I am... Let's show that for like two seconds. I know, I'm Not show even. I will come back to it. Uh... What's it gonna say? I don't know. You interrupted. Yeah. Timestamps in the description below. They're not there quite yet, but they will be. So if you come back just to watch how to do the card, look on the timestamps because I am gonna unbox this. Do you guys wanna see how this works? This is a brand new control knife. It's not like the other ones. It looks like it. It's a different color. It's not the only difference. It's nonstick. So this has a non-stick one. So if you're using it on adhesive or vinyl and stuff, the stickiness will not bother it. Um, you guys are funny. They're talking to you, Alex. Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to design space. To um, I want to show you how to change colors. A lot of people don't understand how to change the color on the canvas and how to uh, change the writing. So I'll show you where you can get the file. You go to MelodyLaneInspired.com, Supporter Projects. You put in the code that you get. If you support me, I share you the password for that. And my last pass always wants to keep my password. Okay, so for this one, we have a new theme. The new theme is new. It's called new. It's not just new, it's also new. See, it's new. So this will show the new things in the past few weeks. So this is the one that uh, Jamie did. I had to share her picture because it's so cute. Different colors. Um, so this will show uh, some of the ones of the past few weeks. There's another page. I think it's just the one thing I did the other night. Yeah, but 
once this is all good to go, like, or, you know, I guess it is good to go, but you, you said you only wanted one page at a time. Yeah. Well, we're going to try to keep it as one page. Um, but this is, we still have to play this game, Alex. I know. I've thought of it and I didn't say anything. I know, because you don't want to play. <laughs> we should we should just play it a video. Do you guys want us to do a video just live of us playing this game? Alex is shaking his head. I say yes. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Okay, so we're going to open up the hugs card. If you click on watch video, it'll open up this video right here, the one you're on watching. And what is happening? The new blades will fit the old true control handles. Why didn't that open? Hmm. That's not good. They opened before. People have them. Like it's not just opening the file, it's it's not doing the thing. Well, there we go. You're gonna say thank you. I did, didn't I? I said no. oh in my head I did. Thank you, Heather. I saw you look over at it. In my head I said thank you. And you didn't say anything, and I'm like, I know she saw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um if you want to write on the inside. You will write on this piece or this piece. They're exactly the same piece. So you can add writing to this and attach it. Uh, we have a blank card of this also. So you can just do, you don't have to put anything on this piece. Um, but I just thought it'd be cute to make one for everybody missing um, COVID. They're and missing COVID? They're missing people because of COVID. There you go. I also made an envelope. I cut this out yesterday to test it. I forgot to test it. So hopefully at the end of this video, I'll remember to test it and put it together with you live. Oh, and if you want to change colors, you can click over here in the layers panel and change the color. Say if you want it pink, and then instead of going and finding all the pink pieces to change them, all you have to do is go to color sync. And if I want them all the same color, I can pull them up to that one color so they're all the same. Is that easy? Okay, we're ready. Oh, let's go over here and let's open up the tools. And then we're gonna be embossing. Okay, hold up, let me, I had some questions. Okay. Oh, I gotta see what you guys see. You know what? It seems dark. I know. Put that's, that. Put the one. The camera that's right over. Hold on. The camera. The light. I can brighten it up a little. Yeah, you should. Is that better? I mean, I can't tell yet. Are, are you sure you're on the good internet? Yes. They're saying the internet is choppy, or the video is choppy. Okay. So this is brand new. It was released last night at midnight. Um, so let's open this up. I'm going to use a true control knife to open it. <laughs> Just go over the dotted lines. Horrible, but randomly 
chalk in them. See, now it seems really bright. It's, it's not, it's not that bad. See how that blade is darker than this one? What is that? I got a thing for updating Adobe Flash Player. Is that even a thing anymore? Uh, maybe that light you should make uh, like a warmer color that's right above it. It's completely warm now. Uh, Barbara, to do a score line is in the ba is in the basic shapes, and you just attach the score line. Okay, we got it out of the package, with the package intact even. So this is an empty one. And some people asked, I forgot how to, oh yeah, you gotta unlock it. This one has ink and everything on it, and then you can pull this out. See, same thing on this. This has a lock and unlock. It's locked. Um, this is actually my favorite little tool. Does it only come in the blue? Yes, it only comes in blue. No, the the owl does not have to be embossed. No, you don't have to emboss the owl at all. Oh, look, there's instructions. See? If you want instructions... You can pause the video and take a screenshot. You can come back to it later. We'll see. Do I have to push this in? Oh, that releases it. Yeah. I forgot how to use these. There we go. You got to push in real hard to get it. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so that was really easy to put back in here. So you save this thing so you don't lose the pieces. And just push it in till it snaps. Did you hear that? And then lift it up. And then when you're done with this one, you put it back in here, push on this, but make sure it's unlocked. I just never locked it. There. It's easier this way than this way. <laughs> pull it out. It wasn't hard to pull out at all. And then lock it. So when you're using it, it does not fall out. See? Now see, I can do my purple one. I don't know if this is... Okay, it's unlocked. It, it comes out so easy once you have it stuck in here. And I have this one. Uh, it's locked, so we're going to unlock it. We're going to push the end now. Okay, see, now this is much easier. You can push the end in, and that will go. Now, oh, that, that won't fit. Oh. Oh. That's really easy. You don't have to touch the blade. Okay, that was really easy to push it. Nope, don't push that melody. I'm gonna lock it. It really is easy once you get it pushed in. That was the hardest part is just to push it in. I was afraid I was not doing it right or something. Okay. Now I got these three fun tools. Do you think they'll make a tool caddy for that? Um. I can't imagine they would, because it comes with this. So you just we have could to make just... a holder for that. Yeah. Or you don't want to throw this tough. piece away. 
maybe make it out of basswood so then you have it can the strength to push down without it falling apart Oh, basswood, no. Chipboard would be better. Or chipboard. Basswood is very fragile, actually. Well, I like the chipboard is. better. There. Okay. Are we good on that? Oh, but we can't put the lid on when this piece is in because it doesn't fit. Let me make sure it doesn't have a special lid. No, that's the old one. Okay, so I'm going to put this one back in. So lifting this. Oh, I locked it. Unlock. Pushing that down. That's really easy. Much easier than I thought. I'll just put the old blade in this one. I think. Is it locked? No. This is the old blade, though. So maybe it doesn't fit into this new one. See. Do you know what I mean? This is the new blade. Yeah. So the new blades fit in your old handle, but your old handle. Yeah, the fit. old handle does not fit. Not... Hold on. I'm going to put back on this one. See, this is the old handle, old blade. I'm going to put the new handle. So, these pieces will fit on the old true control knives, but the old blade will not fit on the new control knife. Is what I'm finding out. Maybe. Is that the old blade? No, it's the new blade. Locked. No. Let me see it. Here, you do it. I'm trying to get it from you. <laughs> there. Okay, it was just really hard. So maybe it will. Okay. Yeah, well, we wouldn't be going to We want to make this sure this works. If you would have just handed it to me. Here, you do this one. Okay, that was really easy. They do. We're wrong. You're the wrong. The old... Oh, wait a minute. No, wait. That... No. We were trying this one. This is the one we couldn't get. Try the old blade and the new handle. Hand Let me here. try it. Here, you do it. Okay. It does work. I just couldn't get it pushed in. Okay. You do have to push hard. Yeah. Okay. Let's put the lids on these. And then we're going to get to our owl. And now we have an extra blade here. We're going to put the old blade in here to keep it safe. Okay. Power that on. Okay. Where's our envelope? An envelope of all the pieces that we cut out for today. I had it right here. Hmm. He's <laughs> he cleaned my desk today. <laughs> so we have everything cut out and scored. I think there's only one score line. There is. There's only one score line. Okay. So, if you just joined us, uh, this is what we're making. And I forgot to turn off the autofocus. Let me turn that off. Okay. Um, so, what we need to do is, we, the only piece we don't need to emboss is this inside piece. You can if you want. But uh, if you're going to write on that, you won't be able to see it very well. So we're going to emboss this piece and all the brown pieces. So 
So, Alex, I'm going to let you do that. Oops. We got, we're not going to emboss one of them. We are going to emboss the one with the scoring line. We're going to emboss those. The hearts are the feet. There's four of them. And I'll show you how to put them together so they all match up. And then the eyes. The eyes are so easy. Do you want to put this card together? No. <laughs> I had to cut it out. <laughs> okay. We're going to let him emboss. So it's, it's and take, I will answer questions. It's going to take a couple minutes. There are a couple different things, right? Because you can't yeah, it'll this make there. you need two of them. And show them the embossing folder. This is from Cuddlebug. They don't make this one anymore. You can use any embossing folder, really. It just adds a little texture. You do not have to emboss. It does not need embossing. I just like it better. So it's not going to fit the wide. So. Oh, it no, but I want it that way. You want it this way? Because I like the direction of the thing. So it okay. does not fit completely. Don't wait a minute. Let me see about the top. Yeah, the top is okay. You said to push it all the way to the top. Well, I meant push this all the way to the end of here. So when you put it oh. in, it will. Well, we got to put other stuff in here. Yes. Arms. Yeah, and I don't think you can buy this folder anymore. I just thought it kind of looked more like feathers. The other one, I'll put those two in. It doesn't matter. Do everything on camera. Uh, yeah. So you just take those. This is for the Empress um, embossing machine that Anna Griffin has on HSN. can't use the maker for embossing, you can for debossing. Look, what's happening? It's just trying to take the top piece. I don't know, hit reverse. It, Wait, your is pieces it, are know. falling out. Is it facing the wrong way? No. It, is there a plate that needs to be on top that's not on top? No. Wait, your bottom piece is not inside. Move that to the top. Run. It's not doing anything. Here. Usually Let's try it the other way. Takes it. it didn't do it last time. You saw it. <laughs> Let me try it this way. Look, That's it doesn't want to. That didn't get done. So we're going to stick him in again. What do you mean it didn't get done? It was sticking at the bottom. Only half of him is done. Well, you should have watched your pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Extra. Now he's done. Okay, my turn. Oh, and this must be the one with the scoring line. It's so hard to see the scoring line. Okay, your turn. So I wonder why it's not working. They do have a way. smaller embosser now this is the big one but she does have a smaller one that's four cards that these would fit into
Yes, thank you, Lynn. Using my links does help me with my giveaways. Just put your arm around the end and... What are you doing? You said you wanted to come? Oh, not if you're going to grab it from the other end. You just have to do it forward and backwards. I'm just doing what you told me to do. Oh, I only do that because I'm lazy to grab it from the other side. Oh. <laughs> I thought you just wanted it double embossed. No. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Alex is going to help read chat so I can answer questions. So here's the embossing in case you couldn't see it with the folder. But you can do anything you want or you don't have to do it at all. Is it a 3D folder? If so, you need one less plate. No, it's not a 3D folder. It's just a Cuddlebug old folder. <laughs> oh, and we're going to go around the edges with the Some, marker. Someone's asking if they can see the machine. It's heavy. That's as far as I can get it in because of the plug. Lean it. There's the top. The way. So they can see it. This is the big one. She has a smaller one. I suggest the smaller one if you're just doing cards. But when I bought this, they didn't have the smaller one. Otherwise, I would have only bought the smaller one. Could you emboss with the maker and flip it over? No, you can't do that. I tried. I assumed you could. You can't. This piece that's not embossed, I'm only going to do two sides What's of this. What's the name of the folder? I don't know the name of the folder. There's no name on it. It just says Cuddlebug by Provocraft. And I looked for it on Amazon and I couldn't find it. See. Alex is going to take a picture of it and do a search. Uh, Marianne Kilpatrick said she used the um, Divine Swirls cartridge which I think would be beautiful and I'm sure she will post her card right after this video but before you put it together I give you some tricks on how to put it together evenly and everything except for the eyes I just noticed looking at the eyes this morning I did not make the eyes even but did anyone notice the eyes were not even? So I'm going around the edges of this scalloped part two, and it's just adding a little extra dark, which is fine for me. And I put these on upside down yesterday, like where the debossing was embossed instead of debossed. These are his wings. And I also made an envelope for this card. Let's help remind me to Put it together. Check that it fits. I was guessing on the size because it's a different size. I can't find it. Yeah. Alex cannot find it for sale, the embossing folder. I the hearts, you can just go around the humps because that's all that's going to be seen. And of course, this is something you do not have to do. I just like the look of it. I think it just gives it a little extra something. Wavy lines. Oh, did someone find it called the wavy lines? I found it. Oh, Alex found it. It's called wavy lines. Is it available for sale? 
I will go check. Maybe on eBay someone's selling it. Okay. I'm going to use some of my chalk. Now, I plan on using my brown chalk on this, but you can't see it. So on this one, you notice around here I tried using some black, and then I just gave up, and then I just used it on this. And I used it on its nose, too. You see it, it just kind of blends it. kind of makes it look dirty, actually. His nose does. These I got from Amazon years and years and years ago. They've lasted me a really long time. They come with this tool and these little balls, and you just rub them and go around the edges. It gives it a little bit more than just a marker. I've used these a lot in my older videos. I found the name of it, but I can't find the folder anywhere. Wavy lines. a little bit on his beak. Oh, put that back. Okay. Um... All of these images are free except for this one, and this one is in access. Um, this was I mean, this was designed. I did not design this card. Jamie Leonard designed the card and said, "Look what I made! I'll share it so you can share it with your Patreon supporters." And so I changed it just a bit, and then I also made the envelope in the same file. Okay. First, let's do the eyes. The eyes are the easiest part. We're going to use glue. I'm using art glitter glue. So whoever asked on Facebook, can we watch this, rewatch this from the beginning later on? Yes. But since it is a live video, it will take some time to process the video. So it will be ready either later tonight or tomorrow. Like in an hour, I think it usually goes. Sometimes longer. Yeah. It just depends on the internet. So we're gluing the green or blue pieces or whatever color you want to make your eyes. You know what? I'm going to put it on the smooth side of the white. You cannot even see. I made it bright and now it's extra bright. We got to change that back. I can't find my... Oh, it's over here. There, that's better, isn't it? You see that light? Marcia Gates says that she's heading this way in September. We won't be here in September. Her no. son bought uh, his first house in Eustis. And honestly, she probably has no idea where that Eustis is. Are you talking about me? Yes. I don't know. I think I've heard of it. It's right next to Tavares. Tavares is right next to Leesburg. It's like right oh. down the road from Leesburg. Okay, so not I've, far. I've worked and used this. And Aren't these the cutest eyes? I love these eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on. What is the chalk thing called? Um, there's a link in the description. Pebbles. I will show. This is the classic chalk one. It's by Pebbles. They have different ones. Okay. 
and then glue on this one. So that's the back of that. Yes, she does need to get her nails done. Yes, really badly. They're driving me crazy. I'm afraid. Stop being afraid. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Now the trick is one of these has a score line. This one. So Yes, you can make this on your maker. That's yes. how we got it. You can even make this on your joy if you take out the score line. And to be honest, you do not need the score you line really because, for one, after you emboss it, it's it's almost useless. But uh, you fold it in half, so just fold it in half evenly. So all of these pieces will fit on your joy machine. Someone's thinking a snowy owl. Oh, you know what else I thought of? I was going to ask you guys. Can you guys put in the comments uh, what else you could put here? Um, and I was thinking we could put a graduation okay. cap on it for graduation and for a teacher. And the owls are great for teachers. So what would you put on this for a teacher? Uh, I don't like owls. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we have to glue this to the inside of this, and then glue this to the inside of this, but we wanna make sure that these are, it goes this way, that these are even. For some reason, they're not even. John there. says, the owl always loves you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to see where I want this. So, and it, it's up to you, but you want to make sure you have a little bit of space to glue it. See, I, I like really you're a hoot. went, uh, oh yeah, your hoot would be good. Oh, this yellow piece barely fit here because I, I uh, put that up so high. See, I used um, the adhesive tape. So this one I don't want up so high. So I'm just gonna look at this. A gold star for a teacher. And I, will I think be there for you. I'm just reading. I don't know if they can hear you. Um, I'm gonna put this. So this bend here is just overlapping this bend here. This bend here and here. You're an owl, owlsome teacher. Oh yeah, you're an owlsome teacher. Are you writing these down? These are. I'm not. These are in the chat. <laughs> I know. I want to make. I'll make a cards that already have that on there. Who's special today? Thanks for owl, you do. Yeah. Okay. Sorry you can't hear me. Christina says, give the teacher a Tootsie Roll Pop and put oh. one, two, three. <laughs> Like the old school commercials. Oh, that's too low. I want to glue these little pieces up so they're touching this second piece in here. So this piece and this piece. So they're just touching, I think. So it'll look like that. Now to get these straight, I'm gonna lay this one right on top of this one. And I don't know why these are different sizes. I will go into the file and check 
the okay. sizes and make them the same size. Yeah, they still should be the same size, even if you flip it. There's definitely yeah. one smaller. Um, you just should delete one and duplicate it. Yeah. What was I going to... Oh, I need the tape. Foam tape? Yeah. So I'm going to use this foam tape. And I'm just going to put it all the way across. Who are you going to call? Your teacher. Janice says hers are sized, right? What? Her pieces. Maybe they are in the file. Did I do something wrong? I don't think so. So I'm going to put this on top of it with the tape down here. And then once we get it where we want it, we're going to fold this. Why are you sneaking him in here? So then we have the top. And then I'm going to glue this on. This gets put right in the point here. Part of the chat is blocking the screen, so I don't know where he's at. I know. There. Oh, she thinks it's because of the embossing. It kind of stretches the paper. I bet you're oh, right. Oh, yeah. Because I only embossed one. You're right. It is. So the file should be right. And then. Now, you can really put the eyes wherever you want. You could put them up here. I liked them a little lower and I like them slanty, so it looks a little sad <laughs> because I miss your hugs. So it is a sad little owl. And this one's way down low again. There. Cheryl, to do that, I would just uh, uh, take each individual letter and line them up. She says, not about this card. Is there a way to make a word slash name vertical on a card? Yeah. I've shown that one of my classes. A jack of owl trades. Okay. Let's put the feet on. So I like the feet to be on the very back. So you can write here and sign your name without having these feet up like this. But it's completely your choice also. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn it over and just glue them here. Try to do them evenly. So I'm going to put them like right. See how this little goes to a point here? I'm going to put them like right in through here. And I'm going to put one on. And then I'm going to try to match it with the other one. And then I'll show you how to do the front one so it doesn't look like it has four feet. Let's get it over a little. I'm measuring the part between the point on each side so it'll be a little even. Okay, so now what we want to do is stick these on top of there, put glue on them. I need to refill my glue. Do you have your glue here, Alex? No. I don't want to bring it and then forget it. Can you get me more glue behind us? I can't get the glue out. Yeah. It's got a... What is this? This one's not much better. Do 
you want to show this or? Mm. Alex is refilling my glue. But I think it had a blockage because we're sitting here without putting the thing back on. So I'm lining them up right on top of the other ones with glue on them. And then gonna close this. So now you can't, well, one of my fingers in there open. And then it can stand up like that on its feet. Now we just have his arms. Now you can put his arms out like this, or you can put them like going in like this, however you want to do it. Oh, and I glued the top of his arm, but then put foam tape on the bottom. Actually, not foam tape. I did foam pop-up things. And I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm just gonna use, this is the leftover things instead of the pop-up dots. So it'll look like his arms are out more, if you know what I mean. Owl heck is breaking loose. <laughs> Okay, so I pulled off that and I'm gonna wait and put glue on it. So I'm gonna put glue at the top so it's flat on the top and then stuck up here. And I did it upside down. It doesn't matter, but um, his feathers are going the wrong way. The opposite. Oh, I did the same thing on both. Doesn't matter, but no one will probably notice. And you're not giving the card to anybody. So. I might. I have someone in mind. Isn't it cute? And it's really easy. Owls, uh, Irma says love from owl of us. Joan says, uh, all I can say is art is stinking to it, is sticking to it. Now see, this one's taller because the feet, I put these feet up. Now let's put together the envelope. I have two. So I made this envelope to fit. This you would not be able to cut with the joy. It's too big. Uh, and I have not tested to see if this owl fits in here. This is going to go here. I think this is in the middle, so I don't think it matters. Okay. I'm going to glue this to the back of the card. Don't want all that glue there. Okay, now I'm gonna put glue on the edges of this. Fold those down. I was I was making this go all the way up to here, but then the card the envelope was 14 inches. And like, oh no, that's too big. <laughs> We had to make it in separate pieces so it would fit. And this is the longer one, and I think it will fit. 
So, even the reason I was not sure on the size is it really depends on how you make it. See how this one's longer than that one? Not just the feet, but also because I put these up closer. So you can see how the two different owls, the exact same cut, we cut them at the same time. We put two projects and cut them, but they can look different. They're different sizes. So it's just up to you, but it does fit this one that's the bigger size. And it'll also fit this one too. And this does close over. So you would just have to, there's enough room <laughs> for some glue after to seal it in. Isn't that cute? I love a little owl. You can glue the flap of the envelope on the inside if you want to. Instead of this, this, um, sometimes I, you can put the return address up here and put the thing here. I feel safer with it on the outside when you mail it. Otherwise, it has that extra piece there, but you can totally put it on the inside. You can also use the same color. You don't have to use different colors like we did. Like you did. Like I did. It's so bright in here now. Mm-hmm. Do we have any questions? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, those people on Facebook just heard you say 12 hour shift, crazy. He's reading the chat on YouTube. I used to work long shifts. No more, no more of that. Hey. Okay. Oh, put, put the lid on the glue. Yeah, I am. I know, I always forget. What about the other glue, though? I don't have anything on that one. Someone says, maybe you, Alex, when you go back to Georgia, I don't know what that was. Brenda said that. I don't know what that was referring to. Um. I, I tried to go back, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, Brenda, we don't know what you're talking about. It is super bright. Not as bright now. The sun went away. We have a sun above us. Oh, Doesn't everybody? Yeah. But I have a solar tube right above us that multiplies the sun by 20%, 20 times. And uh, But it doesn't do the UV in it. Oh, yeah, you could draw feathers on it. There might even okay, be. Jamie said, I missed this. She says it feeds better if you don't have the full thickness on the leading edge. So you had the end of the yeah. uh, embossing folder going in first. That's what you told me to do. No. I didn't say put the end in there first. You said that it needs to be at the top. The I wanted the paper at the top. I understand that now. But I didn't mean the embossing folder. You didn't like explain that, that part when you explained of the embossing first folder. Thing. <laughs> I can't read your mind. I know. So is there, I didn't think about that. Is there I stencils um, that maybe has these lines so then you can draw them in there? Like, so you just... Not that I know of. You can make them. You, yeah, there's wavy lines in design space. Yeah. Oh, wait, I lost I the chat. Them. There we are. Oops. Where am I clicking? All right. Thanks for joining us. So she wouldn't send me the card. I um 
Yeah, now look here. Did hair. your owl start in design space or did you design the owl? The entire owl was started in design space. Most of my projects I take from basic shapes and slice and weld and make new things with the basic shapes. So there is, if you go looking for an owl in design space, there's lots of owls in design space, but not this one. Uh, Alex did not get a haircut. No, it's... Oh, Karen says, use it as a birthday card and say, look, who is one today or any age? All right. How do you share projects in DS? I forget. Thank you. Um, can I show you after the next update? Huh. I'd like to do that. I, I plan on that because it's gonna be so much different after the next update. And in this one, it's very hard to share projects. So it's not easy. Yeah. Well, Glenda, we found another glitch, so I don't, I'm not quite sure when the next update is coming. Hopefully soon. Uh, but I am working on all my projects. For those of you who had a problem with my files being private, it's not because of they're my files. It's because anytime you share another file, they're, pro they're private. They're automatically marked as private. So um, I'm working on that, and my project should be fixed by tomorrow. Someone says, I'll try to make that card later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for being here. And um, check out the new tool, Weaving Kit. Yay, I'm so glad I could inspire you, Crystal. We will... Um, Thursday night, we're going to be no here. No haircut. Yeah, because she's like, oh, no haircut yet. You need to make an appointment. I, I don't know. Uh, Shelly, don't worry about that folder. Um, it doesn't, just keep the folder. It doesn't hurt when, if you delete it, it'll just come back when you open up design space, that native thing. It just put it on your desktop on accident. It's a glitch. It goes in the DS files, but just don't worry about it. All right, we'll see you. Turtles. Thursday Night Live. I know what we're doing. Yeah. We're going to have some fun. So join us. 8 p.m. Eastern. Thursday night. We need a song for Thursday Night Live. <laughs> no one wants to hear us sing ever. Yeah. Are you guys going to hear us sing? We're going to do karaoke on a road trip in the Tesla. It has... It's going to have the words because we tried it without the words and we are terrible. We, we need to practice. <laughs> it doesn't we're matter the, how We're the we worst practice. singers in the world, but I think it would be fun. <laughs> Nobody and wants... inspire at, others we will that quickly, they could try to sing karaoke also. We will also. quickly have zero watchers. We're like, oh, oh, my ears. No, shut that off. <laughs> no, they wouldn't turn it off. They would laugh at us. <laughs> it's awful. I'd rather just have the words. I'll sing along with the words. I'm not going to shut the words up. It's fun. It's terrible. Bye. <laughs> Toodles.